Hey everybody, this is Brooke and welcome to another Fully Spun video. Um, in this video, I am dyeing some speckled yarn in a beachy colorway uh, just for fun. This is not a step-by-step, -step, but I will film more step-by-step -step videos later. So this yarn is a DK weight yarn that I have wound from a cone into Hanks. I've soaked it in water with citric acid and I have used zip ties as a way to hold the skeins um, full uh, in the pan without having them tangle. On my stovetop, I've set up a Bain Marie format in which I have one pan with a roasting rack in it and water just to that low level. And then I have the second pan that actually has the yarn in it fold it over flat and then some water. So the first step is to heat up the water uh, to get it nice and hot. Now I'm doing this based on the fact that I want the colors to pretty much stay put where I place them instead of allowing them to flow more freely. So if you start cold, it'll flow freely. If you start hot, it'll set more quickly where you place it. That also is why I soaked it in water and citric acid. If I wanted it to flow, I'd just soak in water only, but if I want it to set fast, I'll soak in water and citric acid. Now, for this colorway, I wanted the blues, the, the beachy blues, so to speak, to be um, blend into each other and also be very smooth and free flowing. So I've already diluted them into a liquid and citric acid solution and placed them into squirt bottles. And so that's what you see me doing here. I am just placing the, the different blues down into uh, the portions of the skein. What I've also done is that in the middle, the little lump you see, I folded some so that it is above the water level so that that will stay white because that is where uh, some blank space that I'm going to have to place my speckles later. So in this case, I'm kind of just placing, uh, I have three different blues that I'm using in this case and I'm just placing the blues based on where I want them to go. And I will continue to place those and then I will let it set for a few minutes and then come back and see what we've got. Okay, so in each break, I just give it about five minutes to set the die that I've placed. So in this case, you can see that, well, you can't really tell from here, but actually some of the blue dye has already set. And what I'm going to do now is just uh, place my darkest blue and also fill in somewhat towards the middle. Okay, so we've had another five minutes for the first round of the darkest blue to set and I'm just giving it a look and uh, to see how happy I am with the blue color with the penetration through the actual strands of yarn. So one interesting thing about dyeing yarn flat, as you can see when I'm flipping some of this over, is that some of the yarn that was submerged is actually still white. And the reason for that is that the wool actually acts to block the diffusion of the dyed, um, dyed wool. And so in moving it around and adjusting it, I'm 
both doing a check and allowing it to access some areas where it wasn't previously accessible. So I gave it another five minutes. You can see the water is a little bit more translucent and I think I'm finally ready to start with some of the speckles. The first step I'm going to do in order to apply the speckles is that I'm going to flip the yarn over and this gives me access to the portion that stayed white because the yarn didn't diffuse all the way to it and also allows me to lay out the portion that I purposely left out of the water so that it would stay blank. Now first I'm going to fill in where uh, some, of the yarn, some of the yarn has just gotten a bit dyed but I want it to be a bit more solid and I'm going to do that with my darkest color because that's the color that I've used the least on the other side and touch up any spots where I want to throw in the lighter colors. At that point I am will be ready to apply the speckles. So the way that I'm going to apply the speckles is through sprinkling a super small amount of actual powdered dye onto the wool and in a few colors. To ensure that the colors will stay where I place them and don't bleed, I'm simply leveraging the yarn to fold over so that I can raise the portions that I want to stay with dots instead of smoother color transitions above, just above the water level. All right, so I have given the first round of speckles about five minutes to set, and now I'm going to go back in and see how I think it looks. In this case, I wanted to go back in with speckles of the very darkest blue color that I'm using, and the first step to doing this again is to pull more yarn above the water level, and then to use the same method of sprinkling a little bit of the powdered dye in the places where I want to add speckles. Now here comes a little bit of magic. I couldn't figure out how to get the dye to set without having the speckles that you've so carefully placed ruined. And the method that I have found works is to just leave it in this placement and allow it to cool. So at this point, I sprinkle on the dark blue and then I turn off my heat and I just let it cool completely. In this case, it was really late at night, so I just went to bed and I checked back on it in the morning. 
Okay guys, so this is how the yarn turned out in its final state. I was very happy with how this worked. And I will be doing more videos where I show you guys some fun dyeing tips and techniques. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new to the channel, welcome. And if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. As always, I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.